as skyscrapers are rising around the world, the environmental effects of constructing and maintaining these large buildings are being taken more and more into consideration. Over the years, making buildings more environmentally friendly has become one of the top priorities. If you look around, you might find more buildings with trees, roof gardens, solar panels, and new approaches to natural light than ever before. The shift cannot be denied, and the United States, Singapore, Italy, and Australia are some of the countries leading the way in green building design. Before we go on and show you some truly interesting examples of green construction, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Top Luxury. Let us know in the comments below which of these green buildings you like the most. First off, we need to understand what green building is. It's the practice of increasing the efficiency of how buildings use energy, water, land, and materials. Doing this is aimed at reducing the effect the building has on its environment and slowing down the pace of climate change. However, a green building can be way more complex to construct, making it expensive and time-consuming. Since these buildings depend on the sun for energy, they need to be built in a place with good sunlight exposure, which may disrupt a neighborhood's layout. A great example of a green building is the award-winning One Central Park Complex in Sydney, Australia, which is 117 meters high. The building itself consists of two residential towers, an east and a west tower, and a six-story shopping mall at the foot of the towers, which is entirely lighted by natural sunlight. Due to a number of unique features, One Central Park has been recognized internationally as an exceptional building. The most important of these are its vertically hanging gardens, its gigantic mirror, and its self-sufficiency. The vertical gardens of One Central Park are basically a living blanket of plants, flowers, and vines that extend over 50 meters, making it the tallest vertical garden in the world. The living wall consists of many individual plant boxes, each with its own irrigation system. The building houses 23 of these green walls, with a total of 85,000 plants and 350 different species. Both exotic and Australian native plants, from well-known to rare species, have been included in the living wall. A key factor in the success of the vertical gardens was that the plants do not need any soil to grow. Light, water, and nutrients are mechanically distributed to the plants to stimulate their growth and survival. The One Central Park Complex is also famous for its large mirror, which is attached to the Eastern Tower. Suspended from the 28th floor, it serves not only as a dominant design element for the building, but also as a way to reflect light into the gardens and the atrium below. A series of motorized mirrors on the rooftop beneath it automatically tracks and reflects daylight up to the huge mirror, which consists of 220 individual panels. These panels then reflect light through the retail atrium, pedestrian area, pool terrace, and common areas. At night, the mirror is transformed into a giant LED light display. At the heart of One Central Park is a commitment to sustainability and self-sufficiency. The complex meets both commitments with its own low-carbon natural gas power plant and an internal water recycling system that supplies all 4,000 residents and 15,000 daily visitors. Another interesting example of a green building is the Vertical Forest in Milan, also known as the Bosco Vertical. The Vertical Forest is a prototype building for a new format of architecture which focuses on the relationship between humans and other living species. The first one was completed in 2014 in Milan's Porta Nuova area and consists of two towers that are 80 and 112 meters high respectively. These towers house a total of 800 trees, 15,000 plants, and 5,000 shrubs, which add up to about one soccer field's worth of forest. Each tower has staggered and overhanging balconies designed to house large external tubs for vegetation and permit the growth of larger trees without interference. So it's basically a huge and strange version of a treehouse. The plants were pre-cultivated in a nursery in order for them to adapt to similar conditions to those that they would find on the balconies. The plants create a shield around the building that filters the sun's rays. 
At the same time, they also regulate humidity and improve air quality, which are qualities that won the project a number of important awards, including an award for the best tall building in the world in 2015. The building is highly recognizable, even at a distance, and this has made the image of the vertical forest become a new symbol for Milan. Yet another exciting green project are the twisting green towers in Melbourne. It hasn't been built yet, but construction was approved in 2020 and it will make it Australia's tallest building. The $2 billion building will also be so tall that it will need approval from the Civil Aviation Safety Authority and will create over 4,700 jobs. The twisting 101-story Green Spine Building will reach 356 meters high and stand about 30 meters taller than the Gold Coast's Q1 building, which currently holds the Australian record. The mixed-use building will have large luxury residential units, high-tech commercial offices, a five-star hotel, and public green spaces. The huge rooftop garden will be open to the general public, as will the various green spaces inside the tower called pocket parks. These pocket parks aim to induce nature into the building while creating spaces where the neighborhoods can connect for a better sense of community. But what do you think about building green? Do you think green buildings are the future? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Top Luxury. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.